I was born in Prague in 1947. I'm a choreographer. I've been director of the Netherlands Dance Theatre, the NDT, for 24 years. I'm Yuri Kilian. Now, when I'm 63, I think it's time to share my experiences with whatever worth it is. Maybe it's worthless, I don't know. But for sure, um, I like to share it with somebody, and it's up to this somebody to either accept it, absorb it, or just throw it away. And this is, by the way, the reason why I'm making this film. Just to, whatever. I feel whatever I experience to be documented in some way, thrown away, it can be at any time. Ready? And boom! Puff! Yes! And thank you. Yes, yes, very beautiful, Brian. Yeah, really nice. Floating, 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 and make it impossible, yeah? Make it, make it so impossible that I can't go any further, I can't go any further, and still when, you, when you're dropping down, leave the arms going still up a little bit, it's like dropping through a funnel. Oh, that's beautiful. And suddenly... Yes, and make sure that, that you, your attraction is, you're being attracted by something over here. Yeah? So constantly, whoop, yes, and now look, 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 yeah. there you go, yes, whoa, yes, whoa. I like this, I like here the, the sense of confusion, you know, 
Like you, you, you don't, you almost like you're being attacked by your own hands. Okay? One. You don't know where it is. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yes? Yes, confuse yourself, yeah. And suddenly the hand grabs balls. Memory is a very strange thing because there are many memories that you carry within you in your life. But there are many that you try to forget and sometimes there are things that you try to manipulate. What I remember as a really small child is for some reason I remember only gray, brown and black. And I remember hundreds of men with brown or black or gray coats with ground grow or, or black or gray hats. This is my first memory. Memories, memories. Mm, I think maybe three, something like that. And I was blonde. <laughs> it is in the old town of Prague. It's very close to where I live. And actually, where I'm sitting, this is the bridge that I used to cross every day to go to the ballet school and later to the conservatoire. My father was a banker and my mother was a child protégé. She danced solo evenings when she was 10 years old. She was a kind of Czech Shirley Temple, I guess. To become like she was very indifferent about it. Uh, <clears throat> but my father was very definitely against it, absolutely. You know, in these, in these days, to, to dance, you know, people ask you what you do. I say, I dance. Well, yes, you dance, but what do you do for, for business? I mean, what, what, what is your profession? It was not normal that, that uh, particularly a boy chooses dance as a profession. Like you, you, you hesitate, yeah? You, I want to go, no, I want to go back. I want to go, I want to go back. Always go through something, through, yeah? It's difference between you're, you're doing it with the arms, no, you're going through something with your head, yeah? Almost a breakdancing movement, yes. And very angry, more, more power. The end of the movement is the, the fastest. And what I see is fast, slow. So it has the, yes, the, the definite, uh, yes. And the same thing here. Come out, I go in, 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 and boom.
visited, my grandmother and myself, uh, German circuses. There I saw for the first time incredible uh, jugglers and acrobats and animals and elephants I saw for the first time. Well, this was a world that uh, I just fell in love with and I wanted to be part of this. And I like the physicality. I like sports, I did gymnastics. Uh, and um, I think it should not be underestimated because, of course, dance is to a great extent, a very physical uh, occupation. In last January, I stopped being a house choreographer for NDT. My work with NDT is just maintenance of the existing repertoire. If they decide to bring something back into the repertoire, I help them rehearsing it. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Oh. What maladies? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Yes, this is good. In 1978, I founded NDT 2, a company for young dancers of age between 16 and 21 years. Yeah. Thank you, yes, it's, it is very fine, yeah. What happened, what happened, what, what am I doing, what am I doing? Why am I a dancer? Yeah, yeah, and then you scream, 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 and then you go down like a lightning, and boof. Yeah, you have to be very quick. It's whoop. there's no time, and you snatch him really like like a snake. Whoop. Yes, this is good. I prefer that. Yeah, okay, and yes. All right, with the music. There were bleak days, you know, it was not, not easy. And uh, we lived in two rooms, five people. My father, my mother, my grandmother, my brother and myself. I started when I was nine, because I actually originally wanted to be an acrobat, but the school for acrobats was uh, finished. It couldn't exist anymore, so my mother took me to see a ballet performance and I fell in love and sold my soul to the devil and I stayed with the devil until today. I started dancing uh, in the preparatory school of the National Theatre. For me it was a very exciting thing that we lived just across the river and I could see out of my window this building. Anyway, this is the studio where we uh, started as young students of the Prague Conservatoire. I started here in 1962. 
we had um, uh, as far as dancing is concerned of course classical dance was the base we did Martha Graham and we did folklore everybody had to play piano and we had to do state exams of uh, piano Russian Czech language and classical dance Vanishing twin is a biological term for a special kind of a pregnancy where a woman is pregnant with twins and one twin disappears. I see it as a symbol of something that we all are very dual. How much of the darkness that we carry within us to show and how much we should pretend that they, it doesn't exist. This is what the, the piece is dealing with. People always talk about my country as the east of Europe. It's not the east of Europe, it's dead center of Europe. And if you look at the map, then you see that Vienna is further east than Prague. Prague is further west. So this is not the east of Europe. This is the place where the east and west of Europe meet. It's the center of Europe. Uh, ideologically, culturally, philosophically, There are two figures that always dominate in the city. It is Mozart, because he uh, had his major successes here in Prague. So Mozart um, is on every corner of the city and Franz Kafka, who was born in the city, is a figure that you cannot think away anymore. He is another very powerful spirit that is always present. So you have on one side this, this, this lightness of Mozart, this beauty, this, this unbelievable see-through music, something unbelievably spiritual, heaven-like. And on the other side, you have this prince of darkness, uh, the man who questioned uh, the, the very existence of, of, of our souls. He, he tilted the entire world. He asked questions that nobody asked before. Very disturbing element. Close to the house where we lived in Prague, there was a garden with a wooden church, um, 
uh, 17th century, which was taken from the Ukraine. For me as a child, it had always some, some kind of mystery about it because you could never get in. You could only look through a hole which was in a shape of a four-leaf clover. And through the hole you could see a wall that was hung with um, 